Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, let us take this time. You know, every time when we hear about praise and worship, that is where we open our hearts to God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is where our souls must seek the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to take a scripture from the book of Acts chapter 16. The Bible says, Silas and Paul were locked inside a prison. Hallelujah. When they were inside the prison, the situation was tough. They were chained. Hallelujah. It means that they were unable to move their bodies. Hallelujah. But the Bible says, in the middle of the night, remember, in the midnight, it is a darkest hour. That is where everything is done. It is the moment when there is only darkness. There is no light. But they say in that darkness, they became the light. Because it was in the middle of the night. Hallelujah. They began to praise God. So I want to bring something unto you. That if they were able to do it, in the middle of your assurance. Hallelujah. In the middle of your troubles. In your persecutions. In your tribulations, praise God, regardless of anything. Hallelujah. Maybe when we talk about Paul and Silas only, we are making a mistake. Let me take you somewhere. The Bible says Stephen was being hit by stones, but in the middle of that process, the Bible says he did not look at the people that were stoning him. He just lifted his eyes to the King of Kings. Then he said, God, you are good. Listen to me. The Bible, they say, the heavens open. Hallelujah. So what can be tough? So I want us to take a time. As we are still standing, just to praise the God. Magnify his holy name. Begin to praise the King of Kings. Begin to worship God. Father, we pray and we magnify your name.